The reason why so many people have difficulties recognizing a scam is because a scam always delivers something. But the something that's delivered is always short-lived and often that something that's delivered blinds you from looking at the bigger picture. The compensation a scam offers you will always backfire sooner or later. But in the present moment, when you receive the compensation, it's the sweetest thing of all. And that's why you need to learn to walk by faith and not by sight. When the Israelites, I'm talking about the ancient Israelites, when the Most High used Moses to deliver the Israelites from Egypt, they came out, they were all healthy, there was no sick individual amongst them. So from young to old, they were all healthy, Phys physical health was guaranteed unto them. They had wealth, the wealth of Egypt was transferred into their hands, so they became the number one wealthiest and richest nation on the earth. And remember, Egypt's wealth was stored up and built by Joseph, one of the Israelites. So it was their heritage that they uh, received from Egypt. So they, were, they had health, they had wealth, they had natural autonomy because they had been freed from slavery. There is one thing they didn't have. There's one thing the Most High didn't give to them. And it's not a lack that they didn't receive it. But check it out. You have this nation, around 3 million people. They are freed from the world power because Egypt was the world power back then. They are now, they used to be uh, the slave race of the world. Now they own the wealth of the world powers. Now they kind of became the world power, but they didn't have their own country yet. They were all healthy and they defeated. By the endurance, they defeated Pharaoh. They defeated the world power, the military power of the time, without even, without even crossing a revolt. Without even a revolt, they defeated the world power at the time. So now they are gone from Egypt. What did, what did they lack? It wasn't really anything they lacked, really, because they didn't need it. They did not have any weapons. Let me repeat this. The Israelites left Egypt without weapons. They didn't have any weapons. They didn't have an army. They didn't have auxiliary troops. They didn't, they didn't even have, have patrol officers. They had no weapons. They had no defense force whatsoever. They depended on Christ for everything. And Christ himself dealt with the military threat against them by drowning Pharaoh's army. And when that happens, no nation and no army in the whole world even dared to go against the Israelites. The Amalekites, who had um, militias who tried to come after them, well, they paid for it. And when you, read, when you read in the book of Joshua, the people in the land of Canaan, where they were headed, they were terrified when they heard about the Israelites. So nobody dared to challenge the Israelites, really. Nobody. Why didn't God give them any weapons? Because they didn't need them. Christ himself was their defense. However, the Israelites then were hard-headed. They didn't want to, let, want to let go of Egypt. They didn't even want to be led by the Most High directly. That's why they received the Ten Commandments. They had more and more and more and more commandments. Why? Because they didn't want to be led directly by the Holy Spirit. They didn't want to. They held on to religion. The religion of Egypt. That's why they built a golden calf. That's why they revolted against Moses so often. Look, they left 
without weapons. That should teach you something. Christ wants you to rely on him for your defense. Because his defense will always work out in the material on your behalf. So, there is no place for self-defense in God's kingdom. Let me repeat that. There is no place for self-defense in God's kingdom. Because self-defense means you rely on self. You rely on your own strength. That means you're not relying on Christ. That means you do not walk in his power. Anyone who looks at this situation would get frightened if they are a historian. Because they would see that you have this slave population that became the richest ethnicity on the earth, but they had no military. They had none. But you may say, no, Rashid, but later on the Joshua, they took in the promised land. They formed militias. Well, they did. The most I want to teach them the horrors of war. So they would not... So they would unlearn this thing called war. They never had to fight any wars. Militarily. So the most I tolerated them. Forming a militia. And he used it. To give them the promised land. So that they would learn. How terrible and horrible war is. That was the purpose. Not because God intended it originally for them to have their own military defense. Any time the Israelites, because once they had the promised land, they were a confederacy, any time there was a threat, the Lord raised up a judge amongst them, and with some men amongst population, they fought the military threats. Because the Mosai was and always will be practical, because the nations around them had a military and they used their military against the Israelites. But even when the Israelites formed militias under the judges, they still relied on Christ for their defense. This should open your eyes about something. This whole movement of self-defense is a scam. Why am I telling you this? It is because they point you to a security that doesn't exist. Violence in practice happens suddenly. 99% of the time you can't predict the eruption of violence because people just snap. And none of the self-defense programs will be applicable then because those self-defense programs are useful in staged fights. Well, if you're out there walking down the street and someone loses it, um, there is no script for that. That's reality. So, self-defense itself is a hoax teaching. It's a scam. It does deliver something, but what delivers will backfire on you. Then a Christ say unto the apostle Peter, those who live by the sword shall die by, by the sword. A lot of people don't capture what Christ really said there. When you rely on violence, when you rely on self-defense, that same self-defense will destroy you in the long run. So what do you do then? You operate in the defense that comes from God himself, as he intended it. The Lord tolerated a lot of stuff with the ancient Israelites that he did not intend, just to show you why he didn't intend it. So don't fall for this scam of self-defense, because in the long run it will work against you. You must be delivered from fearful thinking, you must be delivered from the spirits of fear, from the spirits of violence, you must be delivered from fighting spirits, you must be delivered and it happens by you renewing your mind. It's then that you'll be able to operate as a spirit being, as God intended on the earth. And when you operate in that power, no one dares to lay any hands on you. And no weapon from the against you shall prosper when you walk in that power. That's the defense that you should operate in. Not self-defense. Well, that's it for now. 
keep agreeing with Christ and be at peace.